It's a language we speak as houndsmen, outdoorsmen, hunters, and as veterans. Only a veteran who has been to war can understand the language of another veteran and relate to what each other's eyes have seen, what the mind and spirit have endured through unique experiences on and off the battlefield. It is a bond like no other between humans, similar to the unique bond shared between hounds and a houndsman. There are no other men or women who exist today who are as brave, selfless, and driven as those who have and are willing to lay their life on the line for the greater good. Maybe this is why I am so drawn strongly to houndsmanship, the bond between man, hound, and beast. It is more of a brotherhood than anything I have found since my time in service. It is this bond that pushes both man and hound into battle, fighting the elements of the mountain, cold, and the predators we chase, side by side and on to the front lines, knowing that they will go as long and as far as I will, and I will go as far and as long as they will. It is an intimate bond that I have had the pleasure to share with my fellow comrades, those who have fought in battle and have longed to find and share those intimate relations. The reason to push themselves further, not for personal pleasure or gain, but for the man next to them, or in this case, the hounds and the hounds men. When they see for themselves the drive and determination that these dogs possess, I can tell you from first-hand experience, it changes them. I've seen it change them, and it brings to light a new motivation that reignites a fire to drive on and continue the new mission. There is no place other than the battlefield where you can find that intimate relationship. No place, I should say, other than the side of a mountain, cold, dark, snowy, steep and deep, where the bay and echo of your hounds, your new comrades, is calling you on pushing you to take the next step up or forward movement. It is this bond between us that pushes the body, heart, mind, and soul. I've been fortunate enough in my life to experience both extreme highs and lows, thus giving me a different outlook on what is important in life. And what I have found it, that is important to me in this life is giving back. That is my new mission. Amazingly so, I have found a different way of giving back to those who have given so much. One way I have found is through my hounds and through these mountains, sharing an adventure with those pure at heart and full of determination. There are so many ways that a hunt with patriotic Americans, hounds, and veteran brothers can cleanse the soul. And it is not until it is experienced personally that one will understand the true impacts of one of these hunts. I cannot thank those enough that have helped my mission along, those that have supported me and driven me forward, and those veterans who have taken a chance on one of my adventures. And most of all, I thank my hounds who have given their lungs, feet, and determination to give us back a little taste of the freedoms that we have fought for to run these mountains out here in the West. Well, it wouldn't be a wilderness for warriors trip or a cat hunting trip without crap weather. <laughs> so the highways and the way here were closed, barely got here. Um, the vets had to come through South Dakota. And then now on the way back, it's blizzarding and barely see the white line. Oh, yeah, no snow. Oh, there it goes. Oh. So, still trucking. Go forward, baby. Make it happen for the next hunt. Five days. See you then.